Hey guys, Mark Sewell from O'Brien Real Estate, Cranbourne. I got a beauty for you today. 26 to wire caught in Cooey Rupp. Now this one, 1167 square meters. We've got a beautiful big driveway here, room for three or four cars, plus this side driveway, you can probably put another two, or boats and caravans, and you've got access into the rear yard where the garage or shed out there will amaze you. Let's go and have a look. So as we walk in the front door, off to our left here, we've got the first formal living space. Now these guys do use this as a home office study, but it's a sensational big room where you can have a quiet space for the adults away from the kids as your who are set up further down the back. Over to the right, double garage, panel lift door, remote controlled as you would expect. And further off the back here, we do have a roller door that accesses us down the right side of the home. Heading into our second living space or our main living area really, we've got a great family room here with our attached meals area. Now, a few things to note, some extras in this house. Ducted, refrigerated cooling, ducted heating and ducted vacuum. As we roll forward, we're moving into the kitchen area. So we've got a stone top bench. Now this has got plenty of covered space as we sit. Oh, sorry about that video. I don't know what happened there. But we've got plenty of space in this kitchen. Um, Servery window, so if you want to feed the kids outside without them coming in, that's an easy space. We've got pot cupboards. We've got a big stainless steel range, stainless steel range hood and dishwasher, and a beautiful big walk-in pantry. So here we are now heading into the master suite. Now this is a really good size room, plenty of space for you. Does back onto the garage, so you've got a noise protection from the road. Not that there's a lot of noise in a court. That's one of the pluses of living in one. We've got a double vanity ensuite, toilet, and a really big shower as such. Off to the other side here, we've got a great walk-in robe. Uh, which is plenty of room for his and hers, without a doubt. Now we head into the third living space. This is a great area if you want to close the kids off and have all of their stuff at one end, or you can set it up as a rumpus, or really whatever you want to do. But we've got double doors off the kitchen that really can enclose that space and keep the noise out of the other end of the house. So let me tell you about one of the things I absolutely love about this house. Storage. Walk-in linen cupboard here, and we've got a double one down the back as well, which you'll see shortly. Now we're up to the second bedroom. There again, this is a great size bedroom. Plenty of room for a double or a queen. We've got a double built-in robe in this one, and let's head on down the back and see what else we've got. So now we're heading down to the second bathroom. We've got the standard layout. We've got a separate toilet that you saw before. We've got vanity, shower, and bath. Now we're off. Bedroom number three, double, queen size room, however you want to use this one as such. This one has a walk-in robe. That's a fantastic space down the back. Now we're into bedroom four. There again, just like bedroom three, room for a double or a queen, and there again, a walk-in robe. 
So for the kids down the back, they'll be fighting over the back two bedrooms. I get it. Uh, but if it was me and I was a kid, I'd probably prefer the one away from the other one. So now, remember I was talking about double linen down the back? We've got a double linen cupboard here. So like I say, storage in this house, it's a premium and it's got plenty of it. So where to now? Let's have a look at the outside. So like I said earlier, we're on 1167 square meters of land. Massive big backyard. If the kids want to kick a footy, whatever it is for you, you've got those double gates that gives you access down the back and there's plenty of room for storage. Like I said, once we get down to that shed down the back, you'll be very, very impressed. So let's have a look at this part, guys. We've got an outdoor living area, timber deck, beautiful roof line. So we've also got an outdoor kitchen in here, the sinks in here, there's power out here. It's just a really well set up space. And if you're an entertainer, I guarantee you will absolutely love this area. Now guys, this is the bit that I think a lot of us have been looking forward to. This is our shed down the back. What have we got here? We've got three phase power. So that's a massive plus. We've got a clear story shed, seven meters wide and 12 meters deep. Power, lights, it's all here. Perfect for you if you've got your toys that you wanna get in somewhere. Somewhere for the kids. Look at this, we've got a cricket pitch in here. Um, cars, bikes, boats, anything you want. And no, the dog does not come with it. So guys, now we're into the backyard. Like I said, 1167 square meters of land, room to move, and these are so hard to find. Now, in relation to inspections, I know you'd love to have one, but as we all know, we are currently in lockdown so that's not something we can do. But we will have virtual inspections available. If it is of interest to you, please feel free to give me a call anytime. 0413 719 821 or pop an email off to me, mark.sewell at obre.com.au. Thanks for watching. I'm Mark Sewell. Have a great week. Cheers.
So guys, we're entering the front of the house. Um, obviously security door on the front. Over to the left, we've got a really nice, good formal lounge area, which you will see in a second. These guys use that as a home study and, or office. It is a big room. So if you wanted that third living area, it's a great space for that. Over here to the right, we've got a double garage, panel lift, uh, remote roller door, as you would expect. Um, and then off the back of this one, we do have a roller door access that gets you access down the whole of the right hand side of the home. Down through the rest of that hallway, off to the left hand side here, we've got our family room. Um, it's a nice big area there again. And attached to that is a meals area where you've got a full view over the rear yard and that space. From there we head down through the living area into the kitchen area. Uh, we've got a central island bench here which is stone topped. Oh, looks like there was a bit of a wonky bit in the camera. Anyway, we will progress. So stone top, stone top in that island bench. We've got a servery window there if you are wanting to feed the troops outside without them coming into the house. And we've got a nice stainless steel five burner stove uh, with range hood and a beautiful walk-in pantry, which will give you plenty of stuff for storage. Now this house is great for storage. Have a look here. We've got a number of pot cupboards as part of that island bench. Now we're running through into the third living space, which is really a great size rumpus room. It does have double doors that locks off from the kitchen area. So it's a great area for the kids uh, as a kid's retreat or whatever you want to use it for as such. Um, the three bedrooms are down the back here, so it is a perfect way to sort of shut the kids away if that's your thing. Um, storage, like I said, it's a premium in this home. We've got a nice big uh, walk-in linen cupboard here, as you can see. Then we walk into bedroom two. Now, all of these bedrooms are easily doubles or, or queens. Um, this one has view to the backyard, obviously, and double built-in robes into this one. Now we're into the second bathroom. We have a vanity, obviously, and a bath and a separate shower in this room, which is perfect just for servicing the children. Uh, bedroom number three, that's where we're heading to next. Um, bedroom number three, there again, double queens, no big stress there at all. And bedroom three does have a walk-in robe. Now we're into bedroom four. Bedroom four there again, double queen size. Just like bedroom three, we have a walk-in robe in this one as well. Now, as I was saying before, there's plenty of linen space and storage in this home. Another double linen cupboard to go with our walk-in linen that we saw earlier. Now it's time to head outside. Now, like I said, this one is on an 1167 square meter block. Land of that size, as we know, is so hard to find. And this one's just got lots of options for whatever you choose to do with it. So we're making our way into this outdoor area and how fantastic is this? So fully covered uh, timber deck 
It's just a great entertaining area. You've got a nice little kitchen outside, which is fantastic. For you. If you're an entertainer, it's just a space that you will absolutely love. Now, for us who are enthusiasts with our vehicles, our boats, our caravans, our cars, our motorbikes, whatever that is, whatever rocks your boat, have a look at this. This shed is seven metres wide by 12 metres deep, obviously clear span. Um, we've got three-phase power out here. And realistically, guys, there is so many things you could do with this just dependent on your own personal situation. So here we are now into the backyard area and isn't it huge? That's the sort of thing you get with land of this size. Plenty of room to move, plenty of room for the kids to play. There's our view across to our garage. Like I said, double roller doors on that one. We've got our pergola area off to the side there. We've got the puppy dog who's just seems to show up and he seems to be enjoying himself. Anyway, guys, that, as we see it, is 26 Dwyer Court in Up. Right now, while we're in lockdown, we will be running virtual inspections via Zoom, and I will be forwarding some links to those people who have interest in this one. Um, if you've got any queries, feel free to give me a buzz anytime, 0413 719 821. I'm Mark Sewell. Cheers.